Good afternoon, hello everyone. This is teacher Raisa and today we're going to start a new topic as far as um, the different forms um, when it comes to writing concern. Okay, and there are actually four. There is the exclamatory, there is the interrogative, there is the um, imperative, and then there is the declarative. So there are four as far as sentences are concerned. Okay, there are four forms of sentence, that sentence uh, format, but today we'll start with exclamatory. To exclaim, exclaim comes from exclamation. Okay, exclaim is you're wanting to express a very strong feeling. Okay, you're wanting to express a strong opinion about something and you know, the how you feel, you know, it could be, you know, what you think, which is maybe your strong opinionated or how you feel about it. So it's all about um, what you say, it's all about your emotions, how you feel about something. And so it becomes an exclamatory form, it becomes an exclamatory form, like you're shocked about it, you say, oh my God, that's an exclamatory sentence. Okay, and, um, and so, and then it ends always with an exclamation mark, and that's an exclamation mark. Okay, it's not a full stop. So it ends with an exclamation mark. Even if it was a question, there are some questions that would have the question mark and then an exclamation mark to it, depending on how, um, how you say it. Because with exclamation, oftentimes it's more spoken than in writing. And so if you have to write, especially maybe like in essays and stuff, when the readers, when the reader is reading your work, they need to have some kind of emotion. So it tells the reader how you're feeling. It puts the reader in the writer's position or how you want to explain something okay so that's why sometimes even when you're writing and it has a question but it's like feeling like emotions or you're feeling shocked about something yeah. um, form oftentimes would be a how or a what okay oftentimes or some the, the most two formats would be would be how or what so how silly i am how silly I am. Maybe you're trying to do something and you're doing it the wrong way, but you really know how to do it. You say vraiment comment le faire. Mais pour une raison ou une autre, tu, soit tu l'as mal fait ou something. You say, oh, I'm so, you know, how silly I am. How silly am I? How silly I am. So there's a question mark. Because you're just wondering, mais comment j'ai pu faire une telle bêtise alors que je connais vraiment. So it's just an exclamation. So the emotions like you're shocked by yourself that, is it me that actually did this? So how silly am I? How dumb I am? Am I? You know? Or how time flies? How time flies? You're thinking, hmm, nous sommes déjà en juillet, déjà l'année se tient à sa fin. And you're thinking like, wow, how time flies? Ça passe vite le temps, c'est on se rend même pas compte. So how time flies, you know. And then what about the what, you know. What a great car you have. What an awesome home, what a great family you have. You know, l'émotion, tu es en train de prouver d'émotion, de, 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 de positif en fait, in this case. What a great car, what an awesome person you are, exclamation. So when I'm reading, I'm thinking, huh, that person is, her, is like having positive, like atmosphere feeling. But look about this one. What a liar you are. What a liar you are. What a liar you are. Ça dit que tu as, as peut-être raconté des histoires qui ne tiennent pas debout. Elle a, ah, tu es vraiment quelqu'un qui ment tellement, un menteur que tu es. What a terrible liar you are. That's an exclamation. What a terrible liar you are. So, um, talking about the four, you know, um, different sections as far as sentences are concerned. I told you declarative, interrogative, and imperative. Declarative is a declaration. You know, it's straightforward. Interrogative, it has a question. Ça signifie que normalement, it has to end um, with a question mark. Or imperative. Imperative means tu dois le faire. It's a commandment. Tu n'as pas le choix. Imperativement. You must do it. It's a command. You know, so the sentence would be formal like a more of a command. So look at um, and, um, declarative. That hurts. Peut-être tu as dit quelque chose qui m'a vraiment blessé. Tu m'as vraiment blessé. Hurts me to blessé. That hurts. 
Ah, tu m'as blessé là. That hurts. Then this other one would be maybe your, your somebody just pops in into a situation that you were not expecting that person to say something. Et la personne ne commence peut-être à interrompre, dit tu sais pas quoi. Oftentimes, a lot of you know Westerners will say this because that's on Google. We're like, hmm, who the hell are you? Qui, tu es qui là? Pourquoi? You know, who the hell are you? It's interesting that there's a question mark at the same time, exclamation, because it doesn't necessarily. Um, expect you to answer the question. J'entends pas vraiment une question en disant qui es-tu pour pouvoir voilà m'interrompre ou je m'adresse pas à toi. Pourquoi tu me parles? You know, so who the hell are you? Or who do you think you are? You know, c'est c'est une façon. It's a rhetorical question per se. I'm not really expecting you to answer, but never de les néer en moi. C'est une question. Alors tu dois mettre one question mark and then secondly exclamation mark. You see? So that thing is very, very important because it's it's some kind of like a rhetorical question. C'est vraiment une question qui nécessite vraiment pas, peut-être pas une réponse, mais néanmoins ça reste une ça reste une question. Alors on doit mettre le question mark, point d'interrogation, une exclamation point, point d'exclamation. So it's like you know, who are you? You know, uh, who the hell you are? What do you want? So it's an interrogation. It's a question. And then the last one would be an imperative. So don't be so stupid. Ne sois pas si bête. So it's just telling you that tu es bête. Alors arrête d'être bête. Arrête d'être stupide. Arrête de sortir de ces choses sans vraiment réfléchir. So it's like a command. Don't be so silly. Don't be so stupid. Don't be so dumb. You know, don't be so loud. You know, so these are imperative words. So you see that you can use exclamation in all four because why? Exclamation among all of them, among all four, it's often used the most. It's used the most amongst all four. So it's important that you learn to, you know, to change them in different forms. Of course, like I said, it shows a strong opinion. It shows strong emotions. The reader or the person or the audience has to know that you're expressing when you even you're talking. I need to know that you're expressing some kind of strong opinion or thoughts about it. So, and then there exists exclamations or exclamative sentences with interjections. Interjections and what you see, of, uh, you know, in English, like there, like God, like, oh my God, or some God. They have hey, you have oh, you have wow. Those are interjections. Interjections are just some of those words that you add to um, a sentence to kind of build up the emotions of that sentence. You'll be like wow. You see some a stunning girl just coming out, walking out, be like a oh, stunning guy, be like wow. That's an interjection right there. But at the same time, it has an exclamation. Interjections come with exclamations. You just, just say, wow, and then you put a full stop. Wow comes with an exclamation. But nevertheless, it's an, it's an, um, it's an exclamation. Wow, or like, hey, you know, that we usually all the time, hey, girl, hey, it's an exclamation. It's not a full stop. Because it's just, you know, you're giving like a shocking, so hey, hey, what a brilliant idea that is. What, again, the expression, hey, what a brilliant idea that is. Oh, someone says, um, uh, Paul, uh, where were you this weekend? We missed you this weekend. We'd be like, what happened? We're like, we had a birthday party and you forgot. We're like, oh, if I saw the day, Oh my God, oh mon Dieu. Oh, it's an exclamation, it's not a full stop. So that's an interjection because the sentence is not complete. You're, you're just putting there to add something to it. Oh, you know, oh, how I wish I was present. Si seulement, you know, je pouvais être là. Wow, what a cool car you got. Wow, what a cool car you got. Okay, so these are, and they use like the other ones, oh my God, those are all exclamations that you can use you know, that you can use oftentimes, um, you know, as you, as you go along. So yeah, that's exclamation, you know, and you can look for some of the examples, like pick out the passage and try to pick out some of those exclamations that you know. It could be an ex a declarative excla exclamation sentence, it could be an interrogative exclamation sentence, it could be an imperative exclamation sentence or an interjection. So go through it, get to see it, make sure you know what I've told you about interjections. You know, you have the hey, you have the ho, you have the woe, you have even God, oh my God, you know. Um, those are um, interjections, okay? 
I hope that that helps and I'll see you next class as we continue along with interrogative and um, imperative and declarative. Thank you and see you next class.